Hey what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial I will show you how to create this cartoon squash and stretch text animation inside after it so let's get started all right guys let's start with the new comp and I'm gonna call this cartoon squash and stretch animation to get a solution 24 frames per second and 10 seconds as the duration all right let's hit ok now first up let's add our background so right click new solid and i will use this uh, bluish color you guys can copy this hex code and if you want this exact same color or you guys can choose whatever color you like and i'm gonna hit ok and let's call this pg for background all right now let's add our text so let's go to toolbar and select the type tool and i'm gonna type cartoon by the way i'm using this uh the minion font and i will put the link in the description for this font and i don't like this uh, space so i'm gonna just double click and go to here and then press alt and my left arrow to close this gap okay something like this and yeah this looks cool now i'm gonna place this anchor point in the below so to do that you can select the band behind tool and select this and make sure you it's in the bottom of the text okay like this if you want to snap you can hold control on your keyboard it will snap okay and i'm gonna put it here right here like that now make sure you select this and go to paragraph and make sure it's center text okay so it will type from the center and now perfect now let's select this and go to align and just align it to the middle like that and you can find this to all the tools from here okay windows and you can find this tool from here and all right now let's start with the squash and stretch effect so to do that i'm gonna add a simple expression so to make it a little bit easier so i'm gonna press p and first off let's add our jump effect so i'm gonna press p to bring the position and select the position right click separate dimension and i'm gonna animate y axis okay in the zero second i'm gonna create a new keyframe and let's go to eight frame forward all right and then just bring it up like that let's go to eight frame forward again 16 frame and then select this keyframe press keyframe ctrl c ctrl v to paste it i'm gonna select this keyframe press f9 and let's go to graph editor and i'm gonna only select the y position and right click and make sure you select this value graph not a speed graph okay value graph and then select this keyframe and just and just uh, set the curve like this let's see okay perfect now let's go back to the timeline and we have this simple animation now let's add some squash and stretch effect to this give some cartoonish look so i'm gonna select this and then hold shift and s okay uh, not s make sure you press shift and s so it will also uh, keep the y position as well so i'm gonna select this scale and then let's add a little expression so i'm gonna uh, hold alt and click on this scale stop for chica and this will bring our expression window and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a square bracket and then pick with this to the first uh, x scale and uh, like so and then i'm gonna add a comma and type minus and then pick with to this y value like so and then press the space bar again type plus and then 200 and then close the bracket and if you just let it go and if you just play with the squash and stretch as you can see now we can easily animate this text using the scale okay now let's uh, bring this keyframe or the keyframe right here and then create a new keyframe in the zero second and let's go back to four frames i'm gonna set the uh, text like this now let's set this like this okay so it will give us this effect and in here i will place uh, and i'm gonna just copy this keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and then let's go few frame forward and let's just give some bounce effect you guys just have to play with this okay and to get a better result and i'm gonna just 
Let's uh, copy this flex keyframe to the last. And let's just select this keyframe and then press F9. This is still not perfect as you can see. And we have to do a little bit adjustment. So let's go to graph editor and let's adjust these curves like this. Make sure you are using the value graph, okay? And let's also use this convert select keyframe to auto BCF option. So it where we can get more control and let's do some let's add some space between these keyframes. Okay, I don't like here. So let's see what's the problem. And I think yeah it's a bit too much so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just dial down the values let's see here yeah let's remove this keyframe and bring it here okay I'm gonna just okay, it looks cool. Now let's add some space between these keyframes. see okay cool and you guys have to just play with these settings okay just go there and it will take a little bit time i think i'm happy with this one you guys just uh, can play with this space okay and it will give a different result and yeah something like this let's see Okay, I'm gonna just increase this a little bit. And I'm gonna just dial down like so. And uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go to two seconds and then press in. And yeah, okay. Now let's just play with the position. And all right there you go select these scale keyframes and go back to grab editor and also just play with these grabs okay this is pretty cool now i'm gonna add a little nice color to the text so select this and go to character and and you guys can just copy this hex code okay you guys can take your time and create a bit of smooth animation and i think for a cartoon text this will work so i'm gonna add, uh, add a little effect to this animation so let's right click new and i'm gonna add a adjustment layer let's add some boil effect so i'm gonna call this boil effect and select this and search for turbulent displays I'm gonna dial down the amount to five and size to maybe 150. Let's see. And let's go to evolution option. And I think it's too much. So let's set this to three, amount three, and size to maybe 50. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think that's cool. So I'm gonna hold, uh, click hold on my keyboard and click stopwatch icon of the random seed then let's type posterize time 12 and time multiple by maybe 10 let's see if it's too speed set this to maybe 5 yeah it's good now i'm gonna close this and let's create a new adjustment layer posterize time 
and search for postage time effect and set this to 12 to get that cartoon effect and i'm gonna also increase the duration to maybe four second and yeah let's check this out and we have a jump in cartoon text and with the squash and a stretch effect i think it's pretty cool right and you guys can use this your project and i hope you guys like this tutorial make sure you are just play with the just select this and press u and just play with the space if you want slower or speed animation and yeah it's just uh, your taste okay and you have to just play with uh, go there and just play with the uh crop editor to get a really nice uh result and you can also just go to six second and drag this keyframe right here so it's not start exactly it will take six frame and then start the animation let's check this and there you go i hope you guys like this as always thank you so much all of my patreon supporters if you guys like this, my tutorial please hit that like button and i appreciate that and as always you can download my project file from my patreon page and yeah i wish you guys in the next one peace